This is the TV 38 News at 9.30. A major change in the way doctors detect breast cancer and why patients' pocketbooks may be hit the hardest. Mammograms have long been considered the best way for women to keep an eye on breast cancer. But now the American Cancer Society says that an MRI is a better way to detect the disease. Eileen Curran is live in our studio now. And Eileen, you spoke with a breast cancer survivor about these changes. Yes, Chris, and she's already getting MRIs, but now the American Cancer Society is recommending the test for nearly one and a half million women who are at high risk for the disease. It's, it's painless. Anita Pavlidis is a veteran of two breast MRIs. She's a breast cancer survivor with a family history of the disease, so she's definitely high risk. Her doctor recommended the MRI. I really think he was kind of really on the cutting edge to suggest that. For years, the mammogram has been the prime test for breast cancer, but now the American Cancer Society is recommending annual MRIs for all women at high risk. In a patient who's such high risk for breast cancer, you know, it's worth the additional testing because their risk is so high that the chances that we find something significant is real. Dr. Elsie Levin is the director of the Faulkner Sagoff Breast Imaging Center in Jamaica Plain. The center has been doing breast MRIs for 10 years. This month alone, Dr. Levin will read more than 300 MRIs. She says the test saves lives. This is a um, mammogram on a 45-year-old woman who was a documented gene carrier. Dr. Levin shows how the mammogram didn't detect any cancer, but in a subsequent MRI... You actually start to see kind of a little mass here. Stage 1 breast cancer. And, you know, we were lucky because without the MRI, we wouldn't have known about this. MRIs are highly sensitive, but they're also very expensive, costing about $1,500 to $2,000. Pavlivis had to fight her insurance company to cover the cost, but she says the peace of mind is worth it. it makes me feel wonderful. Yeah, it really does. So does this mean mammograms are obsolete? Doctors say absolutely not. Mammograms are still the best test for those at low risk and should still be used along with the MRI for women at high risk. Chris? Okay, Eileen Curran in our studio. And women who are considered at high risk are uh, those over 30 who are gene carriers, uh, women who've been treated for Hodgkin's disease, or those with a strong family history of breast or ovarian cancer.